All right, man. Today has been today has been a crazy day. Today has literally been a crazy day. Let's just quickly recap because this trade that we're going to be talking about right now literally involves like three different trades. So number one, Goran Dragic gone from the Phoenix Suns. He's now in the Miami Heat. Isaiah Thomas gone from the Phoenix Suns. He's now in the Boston Celtics. Now, Phoenix has no point guard now. So they got to get a point guard. So you know what they get? They get Brandon Knight from the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, guess what? Milwaukee has no point guards. They need a point guard now. And, you know, as uh, Brandon Knight was killing it. He's going to be an all-star for sure in the future. So they had to get somebody in return. You can't just disrespect the Milwaukee Bucks fan like that. Bucks fans like that. And get rid of Brandon Knight without not receiving somebody in return. And they did. They have received Michael Carter-Williams from the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, Michael Carter-Williams is a beast. He's a, he's a great dude. I remember his rookie year. I still would take Brandon Knight over him. I'm just going to be real with you. You know, I really don't like to get with the personal opinions, but I do think that uh, I do think that Brandon Knight was better than Michael Carter Williams. Is better than Michael Carter Williams. But then again, then again, benefit of the doubt. Michael Carter Williams really didn't have a team to play with. Now Michael uh, Michael Carter Williams has you know Jabari Park Parker coming back. He has Giannis on Onyx- you know he. Giannis, the Greek freak. And you also got uh, Plumlee from the Phoenix Suns. So I do think that my, um, you know, Carter Williams has a lot to prove. And Brandon Knight had a lot to prove because he didn't play this well with the Pistons. But now with the Bucks, he killed it. So maybe I, I hope Michael Carter Williams proves me wrong. I like the Bucks. They're my neighbor. live in Chicago, you know. You got to give him props. I ain't the Packers, so I ain't going to hate on him. But I do think that at least Milwaukee got somebody in return. But nonetheless, they also got Plumlee, who's going to help them out tremendously crazy the only thing is the 76ers really didn't get anybody dude they lost michael carter williams which is unfortunate they did receive some picks i believe they received a first round pick for 2016 they received a pick for this year too i think it's a second round or something like that but mm, they lost michael carter williams they just had they, i guess they didn't want to rub, rub with him you know i think they have rodent and stuff they wanted to rub with that so for 76ers fans i know ipod king carter was talking about it might be tough might be a little bit tough for them uh you know uh but the, the Bucks are looking good, man. The Bucks, even though they lost Brandon Knight, who's going to Phoenix, they are still in a nice Eastern Conference. Michael Carter Williams now gets to his time to shine because now the Bucks are most likely going to make the playoffs. So now, uh, Michael Carter Williams, you got a lot on your plate. No Jabari, but Jabari coming back soon next year. And I think Michael Carter Williams and Jabari are going to do work together. Giannis, you got, you got Plumlee now. You, you got a squad. You got a squad. So as a 76ers fan, I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about this, man? You guys lost Michael Carter Williams. As a Bucks fan, are you guys happy that you have Michael Carter Williams and Plumlee opposed to having Brandon Knight only? So, and of course, Tyler Ennis on the Bucks too. So this this trade day is crazy. Like literally, it's like I memorized all these trades now. Like after confirming with everybody on Twitter, talking about this live and stuff on YouTube and stuff, literally like these trades are going on my head. You think we done? We ain't done yet, dude. There's still more trades. Man, that's a beautiful thing about the trade deadline. Let me know what you guys think about Michael Carter-Williams going to the Milwaukee Bucks. Get ready for some more trade videos. You guys are amazing, man. Thumbs this video up for all these updates, man. You guys are amazing, dude. Peace.